such an outstanding police, law enforcement, public safety type force. Um, when things like this um, happen, when tragic events like this happen, we're all one big family and we come out to support each other every time. And officers all over the area will need that tonight following the events of today. Lubbock Sheriff Sergeant has been killed, four other officers wounded after a shooting in Leveland, and the standoff with that suspect continues there tonight. Hi everybody, I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Some nine hours now have passed since the start of all of this. A suspect remains surrounded tonight as the law enforcement community mourns the loss of an officer and supports four officers who are now recovering tonight from gunshot wounds and one of them still in critical condition. Max Laura Law has been in Leveland watching this unfold throughout the afternoon and evening and Laura, the standoff continuing tonight. Uh, Brian and Lauren officials have confirmed that SWAT commander Josh Bartlett was killed in this standoff and behind me the SWAT situation continues nine hours later and we and other reporters have been asked to remain out here outside this tobacco shop on 10th and Avenue H uh, pardon me nine hours later and we're still out here on 10th and Avenue H for our own safety and here's an aerial look at the scene which is still very active and very tense right now a multitude of agencies still out here like the FBI Homeland Security SWAT Lubbock Police, the Lubbock Sheriff's Office, Leveland Police, DPS, and the Hockley County Sheriff's Office, to name a few. It is all hands on deck. Now, we just learned a few minutes ago from the Leveland Police Chief Albert Garcia that this SWAT situation started a little after one this afternoon. A concerned citizen in the neighborhood called police and said they saw a neighbor acting strangely and walking around with what looks like a large gun. When two Leveland police officers arrived at the home, they found a car in the driveway matching the description of a car that had reportedly been involved in driving recklessly and taunting a state trooper. The officers used caution and tried to approach the suspect, but he was hostile. Then the suspect opened the front door and fired on the officers. The officers called for help from other agencies and Lubbock SWAT rushed to help, including SWAT Commander Sergeant Bartlett. Shots were fired and multiple officers were hit. Bartlett was also hit and taken to Covenant here in Leverland for his injuries, where he later tragically died. And tonight, the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office is asking for prayers for Sergeant Bartlett's family and for his brothers and sisters on the force who are still out here right now trying to arrest the suspect barricaded inside who shot him. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a bad day for us. Uh, as I know everybody is aware, we did lose one today, one of the first responders with our SWAT team that was uh, on scene initially. Um, this is, it, it's, it's tough for me to put in a lot of words with regard to that loss for the fact that we will be mourning with his family and his family throughout the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office and all of law enforcement.